Hello, do you want to learn how to put together a professional photo slideshow like the one you're watching right now? Then stay with me, I'll show you how. Before we get started, if you're new here, subscribe and leave a comment below saying I subscribed and I will reply to your comments. So let's get started. First of all, we need images and I have mine in my library. If you don't, you can import yours. So the next thing we need to do is to drag down the images one after the other or you can highlight them and drag them down to the timeline at the same time. So drag them down one after the other and align them. So we deal with this image for now. When you're done, we need to go to crop and zoom then click on this and click on 16, 19 and adjust it just to fill the, the screen to get rid of the black space by the side so you do the same to all the others click on the object and click on this crop and zoom icon click on the object first then click on the crop and zoom icon then change the ratio, change it to 16, 19 and it will fill the screen just like that so do the same to all your images these images, these are the ones we're gonna use for our background so we need them full screen so do the same to all your images in case they have black space by the side square blow so type square blow there drop drag it down and drop it on the next timeline then double click on it and make some adjustment let's bring it down the alpha to 80 then let's expand it to fill the others now the next thing we need to do let's go back to effects now this time around Let's look for this particular effect and drag it down and drop it and let's expand it. Let's expand it to fill to the same length with the others. Now just go through it and see if it's okay. I think this effect is okay. If it's not, you can go there and change it. So the next thing we need to do is to drag down our images one after the other and stash it on top of the other. Make sure it's the same image as the one you use in the background. So drag them down one after the other to the timeline. So when you're done, just go through it. If you have the, oh, this red line, you can pre-render it and get rid of it. Pre-render it for a smooth playback. Now double click on the image and go to picture. Now we need we need to reduce this to 80. Type in 80 there. Then rotate it a little bit. Just 10 is okay. Something like that. You don't have to do it, but you can do rotate it to the right or left anyone or you can just leave it the way it is so when you're done with that the next thing we need to do is to add border to it so you can go back to effects and type border in the search or you go to utility now here's our border drag it and drop it on that image on that particular image now here's the button, double click on it and let's go to the control, go to video and click on it and let's make some changes to it. This, let's change that to five, let's take both that and blow to five. Then the border, we can change the color, you can use any color you want, just double click on it and pick a color. When you're done with that, when you're satisfied with that, 
and click OK. Now, just go through it and see how it is. The next thing we need to do is to right click on it and copy effect. Now move to the next update and click on it and paste it. Paste it to all the other images. So what we did will be applied to all the other images. Now that you have done that, if you have this red line, pre-render it and the red line will go away for a fast playback. Now just go through it and see. We have all the images, we have all our border, everything the same way. Alright. When we're done with that, the next thing we need to add is we need to add motion. And we're going to do that one after the other. So double click on it and go to motion. Now you don't have to be too specific here. Just go through the motion and pick the one that suits you. Double click on it one after the other and watch it on the screen on the preview there. If it's okay, you leave it. If it's not, change it. It doesn't matter. Just the way you want it. So I'll go through it and pick some. I'll just double click it and check it if it's okay. I'll click on the on the picture and double click on the motion and it will apply automatically. So do the same to all the other images. So when you're done, you can pre-render pre, pre it. Then we continue. The next thing we need to do is to slice it. The last our images for background, just slice it into two. Click on that object in the mid uh, on the image in the middle. Then you click that scissors to slice it into two because we're gonna apply transition to that. So let's go to transition. Drag it down one after the other. And apply. Just choose the one that suits you. Drag it down and apply it one after the other to all the image for all the one you slice. The one for all the one you slice. Drop the transition in between. All the one you slice. So when you're done, you can pre-render it just for a sp smooth playback. Now let's see what we have. All right, I think is cool. All right, just go through it. If it's okay, you leave it. If it's not, just go back and do it again. You can slow down this video and just see the way it is done. Now the next thing we need to do is to add transition to our images on the top. So go to transition and just go through it and pick the one that suits you, drag it down one after the other. All you need to do is to click on it, then watch it. If it's okay, you drag it and drop it in between the images. Do it, do the same thing to all the images. Just go through all, all the transition and test it. If it's okay, you drop it. If it's not, go ahead and change it. Just take your time and do it. So when you're done and you have all this red line, just pre-render it and The next thing we need to do is to add sound effects. You don't have to, but if you have it, you can do that. So look for sound effect. I have some here. I'm going to drag this. Just align it with the transition one after the other. Go and drag it one after the other. Do the same to all the images in between. Just make sure it's under the transition, okay? All right, when you're done, just test it and see if it's okay. And if it's too high, you can low, you can lower the volume. So just go through it. If it's okay, well, if it's not, make some changes to it. So the next thing we need to do is to add background music. 
so you can look for any music i'll just go through the one i have here and drag them to the timeline so just go through yours and drag them any music you want to the timeline and drop it below drag it and drop it right there then you can adjust it if if it's too loud just double click on it and go to and go up there and make some just double click on it and go up there and make some adjustment just drag it down a little bit until you have the exact sound you want then just preview it go over it and just listen to it especially you can use your headphone just to see how it feels so go through over it one one more time twice just make sure everything is okay when you're satisfied voila just pre-render it here's our final results how is it so thank you for doing this with me i hope you enjoy it if you find it valuable don't forget to subscribe and share it and like it and leave a comment below i will join you in the conversation and don't forget to watch the one the videos on the screen right now that we have picked for you that we know you're gonna love it so watch it and we'll see you in the next video